Here we are once again <laughs> on the third season of the Res Bandits. This is our film family. Basically, just like chill out with the fam. La familia, home. La familia. We're always in each other's trailers, you know. We're always bugging each other, you know. I should stop saying, you know. It's Jacqueline. That's short for jacking off, idiot. Is that enough for you? He, him. His. To be on set, surrounded by community, and being able to have like some Turkish food on set is just like makes my inner Mohawk nerdy kids so happy. I think the funniest person on set every time is always Jack Miracle. He plays uh, White Steve. I think I just butchered his last name. <laughs> Sour Sofki. We don't joke. There's no jokes happens on set. You know, straight face, stoic Indians. Or anything, or it's, uh... <laughs> I love Kirk Fox. Any day with Kirk Fox is a good day. Am I too handsome or we're okay? I like being the, the token white man. I think that's important. But am I white? That's the question. That's why you cast Kirk Fox. I saw him live at the comedy store before he was ever in the show. That helped. I thought he was a psycho psychopath. Now it's confirmed. <laughs> I love Sterling, you know, he's uh, he's like that crazy uncle. You know, you see every every once in a blue moon. Oh my God, I feel like all of our relationships with Sterling have like deepened, like we are bonded forever. He's changed so many people's lives. He's changed my life. I like to think that Bear is Sterling from when Sterling was like a little kid. You know, like, like a little shit ass getting into a little trouble here and there. What's happening behind me? <laughs> Being on the Res Dog set and like being able to create continuously with the same group of people, the same family, and like so many indigenous creatives from every department is just like so special and I've never encountered anything like it. It is so amazing being able to say that there even is a native set. A lot of Indians and it's pretty crazy to think about, you know what I mean? Having this many Indian backgrounds, you mean actors, writers, whatever, you know, it's it's a cool feeling to have, and it's like, there's nothing else, there's no other community I'd rather be with than my own. Like I said in Jimmy Fallon, they wanted res kids, they got res kids.